Hey folks, gonna talk about recording podcasts and converting them from video to audio so that you can upload them into RSS feeds and other things like that. So I get this question a lot from people about how do I record a podcast? And what I tell them these days is you want to go ahead and use Google Hangouts. There's a couple of different ways you can do uh, recordings of podcasts on the computer without needing a phone line or without needing the person that you're doing the podcast with to be anywhere close to you. Um, you can do it via Skype and I'll have a separate video up to show you how to do Skype, but I think Google Hangouts is better. It's more versatile and the sound quality is a lot better and I think it allows easier integration of multiple people assuming you wanted maybe three people or four people to join you as opposed to just one. So what you want to do is go into your YouTube channel and you know make sure that you've you've logged into YouTube properly. Everybody should have their own YouTube creator channel uh, and so you want to go into Creator Studio and go to your dashboard which is where we're at right now. We're going to use uh, Google Hangouts to do the recording of the podcast. And so what you do is you, when you're at this screen, you want to aim down here, this thing that says live streaming. If you click on the little arrow next to live streaming, it'll pop up a couple of options. One says stream now, which we're not going to worry about. Uh, the other one says events, and that's the one that we do want to focus on. So with events, what you'll want to do is come up here and click new live event. So when you click on new live event, you have some options and for the purposes of what we're doing right now, we're not going to fill out most of the options. You have the choice when it comes to doing uh, Google Hangouts, you can actually do them as live shows. So you could go through this entire process and actually go live, post a link and have people watch you and your partners do a podcast live, which I think is a really cool uh, aspect of this and it's something that I would highly recommend you try. You can actually do that and record the podcast for later audio usage, but we're just going to focus on the audio only part right now. So go ahead and type in, um, you know, um, uh, just a name for the podcast, whatever your podcast happens to be named. We're going to call this one Podcast One. You don't need to set a time. You really don't need to write a description unless you're planning on publishing this. And this is the key. If you're not planning on going live, go ahead and leave it as unlisted. And then down here, you've got two different options. You want to leave it on quick. And, you know, you'll see in parentheses, using Google Hangouts on air. That's the one that you want to use. Once you've done that, you want to go it up here and you want to click on go live now. Now, before you do that, you obviously want to make sure that the people that you're doing the podcast with are ready to go. Assuming they're ready to go, click on go live now. And it'll take uh, a second. Then it'll pop up this dialog box. You want to go ahead and hit OK. And when it pops it up, what you'll see is this screen. And what this screen will give you is basically a whole bunch of um, nothing to start with. But we can fix that very quickly. Uh, what it's doing down here is loading the Hangout and making sure that it's ready to go. And then when it's ready to go, it'll have this Start Broadcast thing pop up. So you need to do a few things before you start the broadcast. The first is engage your microphone. And if you're doing an audio only podcast and you really have no need for video, you could just leave that, you, you could unmute the, the, the audio and just leave it as such. Now, normally I like to look at the people I'm podcasting with. So if you go ahead and click this button, that'll turn your camera on. You can see, I don't have my good webcam on. This is, this is pretty bad, bad video. If you have a decent webcam, it'll look a lot better. Um, and the next thing you need to do is invite the people that you're planning on podcasting with, whether that's one person, two people, three people. And you do that by clicking on this button here and you hover over it. It says invite people. And then in here you'll click uh, and you'll see send invite as whatever your email address is. And you want to make sure that you're sending from a Google account and that you've got uh, the email addresses of the people you want to invite. It's easier if they also have Gmail accounts but it's not 100% necessary. So you can type in whoever, um, you know, to, you know, whatever, whoever you want to invite. And then when, when that's done, you'll hit the invite button and it'll send invites out to them. They'll need to accept the invites and then they will pop up down here in this portion of the screen. And the way that this works is the video will switch based upon who's talking at a particular time. So 
get yourselves ready to go, get yourselves set, figure out what you're going to talk about, and then just come down in here and hit the start broadcast button. And it'll take a couple seconds, and then it'll say on air, and that'll actually pop up up here in the right corner. And you can just start doing the podcast recording like normal. So go ahead and record your podcast and, and talk about the things you want to talk about. When you're finished, you'll come down here and it'll stay, it'll, it'll say stop broadcast. You'll hit the stop broadcast button and it'll take a second to finish up. And then you can say goodbye to your friends and then come up here and hit the leave call button. Um, and so if you hit the leave call button, um, it'll exit out of everything. And it'll give you a little message saying your podcast will be ready shortly. Depending on how long your podcast is, uh, it'll take a while to process. So uh, I would say go away for about 10 minutes, go do something else, and then come back. And you should still be at this live streaming events screen. In order to get to the files that you need to get to um, in order to access the podcast, you're going to want to go up to Video Manager. So click on Video Manager, and it'll change your screen. And here we are. So you can see I've got several podcasts that I do on, on Google Hangouts. And I'll do the one that I just did earlier today as an example. So this one, Crimson Cast 0123. Now, if I clicked on that, it would actually, I would be in the actual video file and I could play it back and kind of see it there. But we're not interested in that right now. What we're interested in is downloading the video file so that we can rip the audio out of it. So we're going to do that by uh, next to the edit button, we're going to click on this down arrow. And down here you'll see download MP4. So if you click on download MP4, it'll give you an option to download the file. Now I've already downloaded this file. You want to save it in a particular directory um, wherever you wherever you want to save it. It can be anywhere on your hard drive uh, or on your desktop. So if you go ahead and click the download button it'll go ahead and download it and depending on the size it might take a minute it might take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection so I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and downloaded that file and you're ready to rock and roll with the next phase of things so um, just to show you where that is I'm going to go to my podcast um, file here so if I go down to Crimson Cast and um, I go down to the, the listings of, of all the video files. Let me find them real quick. So here's here's the video file that I had. And if I were to open that file, it would... Welcome back to Crimson Cast, Galen Clavios. It would show that there. Um, so I know that that video file is on there. But I don't want the video file. What I'm going to want is the audio from that file. So how do I get to that? Well, I want to download a program called VLC Media Player which is actually available for free through Indiana University. It's also available by downloading it off the videoland.org website. You go to that, download VLC, get it installed on your computer. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty versatile uh, unit. It, it works on Windows, it works on Mac, it works uh, on, on other platforms as well. So once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open up VLC Media Player. And this is what it looks like. I'll make it a little bigger so everybody can see. Um, VLC Media Player does a lot of things. It, it does work as a video player. It works as an audio player. But it also has the option to convert files. So if you go to Media, you're going to go down to Convert slash Save. And if you click on Convert slash Save, you're going to be in, in this dialog box. And in this dialog box, you want to click on Add. And you want to go find that video file that we just had opened. So, um, let me find it real quick here. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, I'll just use there. Yeah, okay, so there it is. Uh, so I open that CrimsonCast 0123.mp4. That .mp4 means that it's a video file, and that's the one that we want to convert. So we come down here and we click on Convert slash Save. And it'll pop up this dialog box. Now, there's two important things we need to do before we can go any further here. The first thing is we need to change the profile of the conversion. Right now, what it would do if we kept it the way that it was would be keep it as a video file, which we don't want. So we want to click on the arrow, and we want to scroll down to MP3. That now means that it's going to take the audio out of the video file and make it its own separate file. 
the last thing we need to do is we need to click the browse button and we need to give it a name. And so in this case, you know, we'll call it, uh, we'll just, we're just going to test CC. And you want to make sure that it's selected as containers.mp3. Uh, you don't need to put a .mp3 on the end of the file name. It'll do that for you automatically. So we go ahead and hit save. It'll pop up in this dialog box. And then we hit the start button. And when you hit the start button, you'll know that it's working right. The VLC window will go away. If you click on it again, what you'll see is this start to happen. You'll see the length of the file, which in this case was 47 minutes. Um, you'll see slowly an elapsed time kind of going off on its own. And what it's doing there is it is converting the audio file by ripping it out of the video file. You do not want to close VLC Media Player while it's doing that. So just let it run all the way through. And, um, you know, it'll take probably about five minutes, depending on the size of the file. Once you're done with that, go ahead and open um, your audio editing software. I use Adobe Audition. It's available for free with the Adobe Creative Cloud through IU. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open this. And what I do is I go ahead and set up a, um, I've, I've set up some, some templates for multi-track. So I've got one specifically for Crimson Cast that I utilize. So I open that up and I'm going to go ahead and, and stop that one from loading because we're not actually going to use it. Um, but you can see I've got my intro music here. I've got, if I, if I like open this up and show the whole thing, I've got outro music over here. So I want to import the file that I just ripped and I've got it ripped as something different, but I would go over here, import file, um, click over to the right, um, the right audio uh, directory. And then I'm going to find the file that uh, I just ripped. And so for me, I saved it as CC 0123.18 MP3. It's a different file name than the one I showed you. I just already have it ready to go. So if I double click on that, it will pop up over here and this little indicator will show that it's taking some time to load the whole file. So it's going to load the whole file and it's almost ready. All right, now it's set. So I go ahead and I highlight that and I'm going to click and drag it over. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap in it. If I wanted to eliminate that gap at the beginning, I could actually just double click on it, delete that gap, hit OK. And then if I wanted to go back to multi-track, I can click back to multi-track and there it is. I get it synced up so that the sound starts where I want it to. And then get my outro music synced up with the end of it. So I'll just drag that over here towards the end of the file, get it synced up properly, and then it's going to be good to go. From that point, there's one more step that I need to take, which is I go to file, I go to export, I go to multi-track mix down, and I go to entire session. So again, once I've got everything set the way that I want it to, and I've got all the volume levels set and everything, I go to file, export, multi-track mix down, entire session. And then I'll pick a name. I always, I have a naming convention where I go, I have a two, um, basically a two letter code for whatever my file is. So in this case, Crimson Cast is CC. And then I have the two digit year and then the two digit month and then the two digit day. The reason I do the year first is that um, that allows me to go year to year pretty easily. If you do it month first, then all of your Januarys get mixed together. So if you just do, if you do two years of a podcast, you end up not being able to keep track of which is which. Um, double check to make sure you're exporting in the right location. And then the one thing, uh, one thing that I'll suggest is that uh, go down here to mix down options, make sure it says entire session, but click over so that it's mono instead of stereo. And you can actually downgrade the, uh, the sound quality a little bit. You could actually drop that down to about 96 kbps. You don't need it to be that high when it's just voice. Um, by doing that, you make the file size smaller. It's easier to upload. It's easier for people to download. Uh, it takes up less server space. So again, um, if you're going to, you, you want to make sure that you click down here, you switch the master from stereo to mono, hit OK. And then up here in format settings, you can do 96, you can, you know, there's other options, but you want to make sure that it's, you know, below one, you know, make sure it's 128 or below. You don't need it any higher than that. 
Once you've done all that, you go ahead and hit the OK button, and it'll say exporting multi-track mix down. It'll export it, and it will end up being a podcast file that you can utilize um, to upload to your blog, to upload to the Media School website. Uh, that'll end up, you know, you can then load it into an RSS feed. You can upload this to SoundCloud. You've got a bunch of different options at your disposal when it comes to this. So that's how you do it on Google Hangouts. I think it's the easiest way of recording a podcast when you've got people in multiple locations. Uh, it makes it for a lot more versatility in terms of how you can record and the sorts of conversations you can have, the sorts of guests you can bring on. So if you've got any questions, you can hit me up on email, gclavio2 at indiana.edu. Um, try this out, mess around with it, uh, and good luck as you put your podcast together.